Hey guys, it's Riker Rider, and welcome back to Let's Play Puss in Boots. Today we're gonna tackle level 2. And level 2 is the Pacific Ocean. This level is a little bit longer. And this starts a theme among the levels. The odd numbered levels are basic platforming, the even numbered levels are vehicle levels. It's just something to keep the game fresh. All the vehicle levels are pretty much the same. Although this one does have a unique, uh, <sighs> I don't know, factor or whatever. There's something unique about it halfway or so through the level. You want to kill those pirate ships if you can, because they're worth big points. If you're going to be like me and play the game for score. And there's lightning bolts coming out of a clear blue sky. This makes absolutely no sense. Then again, it came out of Japan. This is where it gets interesting. You take a, a submarine down to the second part of the level, which is completely underwater. I love the music here. This is, I think, one of the better uh, tracks in the game. Yeah, blasting through these things is annoying, but there's one case where they hide goodies in there. All these guys are annoying to kill. You gotta have your timing right, almost didn't get out of the way. And they only give 200 points. I'll take that, though. This is the one where they hide, uh, they hide something in, like, the bottom of it. If you're low on health, there's that uh, hamburger, which will fill up your health completely. And it's 500 points, so why not get it? That's the second money bag, which would be worth 3,000. You want to kill those mechanical fish, because they're worth just big points. The boot is invincibility, but it doesn't last very long in this game. And you get no indication that it's running out. And this part's automated, and here we go to the last part of the level. The boss. It's a mechanical frog that spits out mechanical tadpoles. Where do these Japanese people get these ideas? Anyway, this guy's pretty simple if you don't get hit a billion times like I did. That's another thing that bothers me about this game is there is no frame of invincibility. Anyway, that's the end of him. He's not hard. Next time, we're going to travel to Arabia.